brother Muhammad Sadi, he was a Christian and Alhamdulillah he's now Muslim and I'm going to ask him about his story. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. So, Akhi, my first question for you is what was your opinion of Muslims before you came to Islam? My opinion was molded by, by media um, as I believe everybody's in here because we're watching TV and we're reading newspapers and then they giving us their views about Islam. So I've been one of those people who thought that Muslims were dirty muggers and, and um, you know, not about the cleanliness, dirty, but about their agendas, you know, and, and um, quite crazy blowing up themselves, you know, yeah. innocent people, bad thing, I mean, and, and um, well, when, when the brothers when I started to work in Pizza Hut and, and the brothers started to me, give me a dawah, I definitely thought like, what are you guys giving me dawah for, you know? Mm. You look at yourself, you know? Your guys are blowing at themselves, innocent people, children, women, you know, and then you're coming saying that Islam is a good thing. I, I didn't believe, you know, in that, those things and actually it took me a heated conversations uh, towards understanding a, a Two dominions, Christianity and 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 uh, Islam. Islam. So you were working in the pizza shop, and uh, you had Muslims working underneath you, and they're giving you dawah. Uh, with all that hatred, how come you came to Islam? Well, we know that that uh, Rome wasn't built in one day. You know. Yeah. Um, it took me one year and a half. Not me, but the guidance from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala took one year and a half. Um, they gave me. The two brothers were, one specifically was uh, very hard core, you do this, 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 yeah? And the other one was more elaborately tr trying to take from you thoughts, mm. you know? What do you think about this? How do you think, judge here and there, you know? Um, in that one year and a half, you know, they, they gave me, the one brother Shaza Kurushad, he gave me the Quran, which I didn't never open in that one year and a half. And it's how in those conversations my opinion slowly eased and eased and eased yeah, about Islam, about the Muslims. Before I took a shihada I already practiced Islam. I didn't pray, yes, because I didn't know how to pray. But I already didn't eat a, a pork, I didn't drink alcohol, a, a stop smoking slowly, slowly, you know. Like trying to better myself in manners and, and in, in, in activities as well, you know. I hope you don't mind me asking. Um, how did your family, I mean, you're from Lithuania, uh, yeah. how did your family, who have been Christian, practicing, how did they react to when you told them that you were now Muslim? Well, for, again, um, the lack of knowledge, you see, was it's quite interesting experience because when I took Shihada 6th of Ramadan, 2008, after one month, fasting already everything you know I called to my parents and I said like when Ramadan finished I, said, like, I became Muslim mm. so my mom took very very hard uh, she's practicing Christian and then she goes in church and then I mean active uh, Christian you know and it, for her it was like I, I've been killed or I, I betrayed her but my father he he has been influenced by by Russian school of thought, you know, where Muhammad was and he he didn't create, he didn't get any relevations, but he created, he combined the stories what he heard from there and here, you know, mm. and, and he tried to, to rule the society, you know, from, how to say, wanted to be from nothing to be something, you know, yeah. as from, from businessman to, to become a Khalifa, you know. When I said to him that I came to Islam, I, I became Muslim, he, he was very, very distressed. And uh, being an atheist, saying to, to me that it's better you to be a Christian, because Christianity is Lithuanian culture, yeah, where I become culture and religion, mm. rather than Muslim, where Muslims are dirty and blah, 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 what I believe as well. He, he was a, a, a slave of the media, um, media and, and, and books, you know. Mm. So um, he, he said he will not speak with me anymore. And I, as a Muslim, new Muslim, I thought like, well, I heard something that if I will not obey my parents, I will, how to say, I will not obey Allah, you know? Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, I 
renounce myself from the Islamic religion, yeah? And I sent to them the message that I don't want to be, because of your wish, I'm renouncing to be a Muslim, you know? And um, it took me about one month maybe afterwards that I found out that if your parents ask you not to worship me, you have to not obey your parents. You ah, mashallah. So then I, again, I called them and I said, like, I didn't know, knowledge came to me, I said, I'm taking my words back, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. It's my choice, I worship in one, and only one, you know, and then I don't want to hear anything else, you know. So, so from that time, my, my father, like, now is three years, he, he doesn't speak with me. Alhamdulillah, the, your mother slowly got used to your Islam now. Um, and inshallah, Allah can open up your father's heart as well, inshallah. Um, but I, I also wanted to ask you, you know, now you're Muslim, what's your sort of current situation like? Uh, I mean, how, how has Islam changed your life in that sense? Well, it's changed dramatically. I mean, I am I'm a totally different person, you know, physically, different person, um, um, in social activities, different person, um, more family orientated. I mean, Totally, totally. I'm, I'm different. Even my name is Muhammad Sadiq now. Before it was Justin, you know. So I can say it's my previous life and now, now this life, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, I, Islam rules, you know. <laughs> have you got a family in Israel now? Yeah. Yeah, I've married um, very quickly after after I became Muslim. Alhamdulillah, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gave us a, a child, Mashallah. my son, son. Alhamdulillah, his name is Abdullah. Yeah, and, and um, well, I can't even wish any, any better, you know, what, what happened. Marshall.